which I haven't done in a while, but so I've been busy screwing down with all this, but I was picked this up and I'm going to do a quick little video on that because I love the gun so much. So it's a CZ 600 Alpha chambered in 223. So I got into hand loading and I was using a 12 and a half inch barrel for my hand loads. But when I get a chronograph, it's just not going to make sense. So I wanted a longer barrel. So I got a 24 and it turns out that I really like bolt action guns now. So I'm kind of getting on a bolt handle thing so it used to be just semi-automatics but now I am into these kind of guns which is I'm super excited for so I'll do some blabbering about this gun super excited about it so it's not super expensive I think I got for a thousand bucks tax in and uh, there's just a couple things that I would change on it. So I think I said it's chambered, stamped, 223, one and seven twist, 24 inch barrel. Um, it's a free, I don't know what they call this stock, but it's free floating. It's, you can see that it's off the stock there. So it is floating. Uh, I only make it in the right hand right now. It's got the palm swell on it, which I do like. It's a little bit fatter. I like that. You can adjust the trigger. I like the trigger. The safety is, it's different, but it's nice. So that pops up on the back there on then you just push it down for fire and you can't if you got it on safe you can't function the bolt so but it's pretty sweet i like it i got a strike eagle 5 by 2556 on mdt rings and i got a atlas bipod on a codwell swivel sling adapter to a pick rail so that's how i oops made it work so that's the adapter so you kind of i had to kind of beat that thing on there because it's like a rubber it's not like a steel one it's kind of a rubber mount so i kind of had to stick her on there but it comes with uh you can put the sling on there so I do really love this gun, but there's some downfalls to it that I'm not a real big fan of, but all in all for the price point, I think it's a really good gun. So let's get into it. I will find a better spot for the GoPro so you can get a better look at this thing. Too bad, and you can find um magazines or yeah i guess you call them magazines for like 40 bucks i don't really care for them personally like i wish they just would have used like a standard um like these things 
of what AR takes. I don't really care for that, so this will be the things I don't like about the gun. Woods. I don't really care for the magazines, they're fine, I guess. Looks like they're... There's more room in them for... If you want to load a little bit longer, but you won't get too much out of it, but I did notice you might be able to seat your bolts a little bit longer if you wish to. Um, and putting the magazine in is, it's like some special thing you got to so I took the sticker off, but it said right on the sticker. So you put one finger there, then the next to seat it. As if you just push it at the front, like it's not going to work. So you got to push at the back, then the front. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's not really a big deal, but it's just, why, you know? Another thing I don't really care for is this is... M15 by one. So you go to the store and try to find something that'll fit that. You're gonna be looking. So this thing would be absolutely mint with a muzzle brake on there. Obviously you can find them, but it's just, it's not common. So be, if you like muzzle brakes, just you're gonna have to be searching because it's M15 by one. So, and it's not too big of a deal, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of the, I think you call it Weaver style, I think. I don't know what you call it, but I'd, I'd rather see it go straight across, but I don't know if that's just, it's not really a big deal, but I'd just rather have it that way. Just so you can kind of put whatever you want on there and not have to size it up. But that's, I think that's all that I, I wish the stock would have like some M lock on it. That's another thing, but I'm kind of wanting to throw bunch of things on there and this isn't I think this is just like a field gun so this is why the stock the way it is and I'm hoping for something else so that's just me being picky but stock is fine I just wish it had some like even little M lock slots or something somewhere but I don't mind the stock it's it does what it needs to it's grippy in the butt pads got some not that it recalls that much but even with the 24 inch barrel it doesn't move too terribly much so one thing I did notice if people are super nitpicky I'll pull the sunshade off and show you so like on, I think these style of stocks like where it's molded like it kind of hugs the one side like it's not perfectly center but it's not like the end of the world I don't know if you can see it but like it should be about there but when it rests it's it kind of hugs the left side a little bit but it's not the end of the world like I'm not really nit nitpicky but just when you look at it I know some people wouldn't like that but it's one thing I noticed, but it doesn't really matter too much. But if you are like that, then it'd be something to look at before you buy the gun. But in terms of accuracy, I am quite impressed for what it's been doing. So I'm doing all my hand loads in this, and I haven't quite... Uh, figure out the right time load that I've been making but buying them I've been using I was going to try and mimic these because it likes these uh, 64 grain 223 Sierra oh, where is it again now 
He is Tit Game King. That's what. That's what I've been shooting. <laughs> and it groups pretty good. I've shot a pigeon at 200 yards with this thing a couple times, so I am happy with the accuracy. I'll probably do a follow-up video on uh, accuracy because that's probably what people want to see, but I have shot. It claims sub MOA and I have shot that with some ammo, but I don't have the video for it right now, so it'll have to be another time. So the trigger is adjustable. You need, it's right in there, that little, so you need a wee little Allen key for it, which it does come with. It comes with two of them, I think. I'm pretty sure this is to, don't quote me on it, but it's to take the barrel off, I'm pretty sure. Do not quote me on that because but so the trigger is adjustable. I think it's got four Yeah, four positions So I got it the lightest right now, so we will see what it adds at So I got a Lyman Figured I'd get one. So why not? Okay, so I don't really care if you guys see or not, but it is unloaded and we will try, I'm not going to adjust through them, but we're just going to try the light trigger here. Okay, so that's like... So I think that goes in ounces, where is that? I thought I had that right there. I think there's some chart which shown like eight ounces so I'd have to do some converting but we'll try it again and try to put it right on the, there I think that's kind of crucial for Getting a consistent pull. Yeah, so it broke right at eight ounces. Another thing I forgot about, I'm not really too keen on, is their the release the bolt is right at that ring so it's kind of not like in the best spot because you need like your fingernail to get in there I'm not I don't know why but I just don't know why they put it there it's I don't really care for it but you can still use it no problem so it's not like you just need to take the bolt out just instantly but you can get a nail in there you can make it work it's just kind of annoying the one thing I do like is, so most ejection is, it keeps constant spring tension on it with that plunger. I don't know what you call that. The should be the ejector and the extractor, but then again, do not trust a guy on the internet wearing a mask, so... I would do your own research on these things and don't believe a single word that I say. So I am just a guy on the internet, but I do like guns. I do want to learn more about them. So, but yeah. So most guns that have, here I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. So that's what I mean when it keeps constant pressure on there when you rack it back. So this is out of a, a Black Creek Labs bolt action. I think it's the bison is what it is, but anyways. So when you pull it back, it's not just going to... 
on usually it'll sit and it'll ride against the inside of that and then once the the mouth of the brass comes out it's going to flick out there but this you'll ride all the way back till that bar hits the i'll try and get a where's my light i don't know if you can see this but it'll sit so that ejector is not engaged right now and then when you pull it back it's gonna spring it'll engage so i don't know if you can see that but hopefully you can i don't know if you can but so that bullet i like it for hand loading because you want to check your primers and whatnot you can pull it so you can have it all the way back there and it's still just going to sit there and then when you pull that engage it on that spring it'll pop out and you can catch it so i really do like that and i yeah i like that so it'll hit a little nub in there and it will push that spring and it'll pop the shell out so i do like that and i haven't took any of this apart yet i haven't cleaned it i haven't done nothing so the bipod is perfect for this thing i love the bipod on this but yeah it's just a quick little video i think so it's nothing you got nothing too bad to say about it it's just some things that could be improved so the the stock is a little bit wider as you can probably see and where you are gripping it there and it does feel i like it's nice on the hands when you're shooting it and gripping it it's, i like it stock's nice just some things that's missing that would make it absolutely incredible but for the money you can't really go wrong and the accuracy is there i'll make another video on the accuracy but because i've i've finally started writing things down i don't know if i dare show you my hand load statistics well it's not bad but i'm just i'm working on everything so i'm just kind of fooling around with it but so i'm just using 55 grain cam pro so nothing too special but So obviously it says sub MOA with quality factory ammo and this isn't this is me just fooling around but so we I will be doing more shooting and testing with it to see what accuracy it'll get but I have shot sub moa with this thing with factory ammo i don't know if it was that stuff but i forget what it was but i will make a video on it to see how it adds up but i know it does shoot really well and i'm quite impressed with it so i will do some more videos on it and stay tuned thanks for watching